guys, I'm in the middle of watching Black Mirror first episode. I don't know if I'm going to complete it. I've been watching so many things, starting but not finishing. I have so much work to do. Like, I folded everything. I just need to put it away. Um, little room haul. These are the, the shoes of the moment. I'll get a close-up. My cat of the moment. To-do list. Oh, by the way, hello. Welcome. And then what my side table's looking like. Actually a mess. Um, hello. I have a piece of like seaweed in my teeth. Ignore it. It's gonna go away in a second. Please just hear the story. <laughs> so you might be thinking, what's up with this hair of yours? Um, ignore that. So I just got out of work. I got out of work early and I just kind of wanted to catch us up on things. I think I'm gonna insert some clips of me dancing so we're kind of distracted, but Here's the thing guys, I wanted to kind of update you guys as far as like me and things like that because we haven't talked in a while. I have food here. I'm eating like an Asian inspired dish. I've got like tofu, kimchi, edamame, um, like cauliflower rice and things like that. Soy sauce, sesame oil, sugar, iced vinegar, things like that. It's very good. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like, I, one, I haven't really sat down and talked to you guys. Sometimes I feel like, and I've gotten like the response, I took a break from YouTube, but I've gotten like such a great response from my last video. And I just wanted to let you guys know that it feels so nice to know that my journey helps you. Like, of course I know to a degree, like obviously like me posting about um, just doing ballet class. Like I, I know that that is, like helps y'all. But I think it's also refreshing to be reminded because someone said that my videos are super useful as far as like my journey and stuff. And sometimes I wish that I would go more often um, to ballet and see like results faster because if you guys have followed me for a while, then you know that like I've been doing this for a while. And here's the thing, like it truly is just like a hobby for me. Some people are able to go more often because they have like a work from home job and or their finances and perhaps their job and stuff and sometimes it makes me discouraged to kind of keep posting because i'm like well my journey is not as quick as you know and i don't know why i'm like trying to speed it up so quickly either i'm like wait why well anyway sometimes with a thing that you're interested in sometimes there's periods where you're super into it and, and the other times when you're kind of distracted by other things and um you know not in a bad way it's just it's hard to continue this obsession for years, right? Not that I'm that I don't love it or anything like that, but what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is, sometimes I'm like, is it even worth sharing my journey if it's not looking linear? Especially when sometimes I see people online and their journey is a little bit faster as far as learning, but with everyone's journey, it's all unique, of course. Um, because unfortunately, as much as I wish that I went several times a week and had the funding to take like classes outside of the several times a week and, you know, do, what is it called when you go back to back, like for a couple weeks, like a, I can't, boot camp. I'm sure some people can relate to that, but I'm also sure some people can relate to, you know, doing ballet as much as you can wherever you're at in life um, and maybe not expecting the fastest results because that might not be realistic for everybody. So I always have to remind myself that like, yes, my journey is specific to me. And although it might not be fast, some people can relate to, you know, going super often and some other people can relate to going when you can, when you can, you know, afford it in your budget. So that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of like my mindset. And you guys telling me that, you know, my videos are helpful, like that's great. Like it really um, reminds me of like why I should keep posting.
But anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of like something I want to update you guys on. Uh, I'm gonna go back to ballet this week. I'm also gonna try to look for jobs today. Um, maybe we can all relate to being girl bosses and just not work on yourself, but like always like focusing on yourself, if that makes sense. Um, and have fun, of course. This weekend, this summer, I'm gonna go to Schlitterbahn. I'm super excited about it. Um, just like basically a water park. Um, I used to hate summer, but now I'm like, oh, like let's romanticize everything because you never know. Yeah, I'm feeling very like happy, just very overwhelmed. Um, let me know how you guys are feeling. And I've also been watching The Idol, but I don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, The Idol and um, Black Mirror. I watch a lot of like TV shows and movies and things like that. That like brings me so so much like inspiration in life. I'm just like such a visual person, and I love seeing art visually. So of course I like seeing physical art, but I also like seeing like fi uh, art through film and stuff like that and shows. And I went to the lake the other day and I caught a sunburn. Can you guys see that? So funny. I still have one like here. It's crazy. Hi guys, wake up from a nap with me. Um, <laughs> I fell asleep like once I came back from work and um, I need to like touch up some things before I go to ballet class. I feel like there's some things that I should leave to the imaginary, to the imagination and totally valid, but this is like a get ready with me, so. And when I say totally valid, I'm talking about like the inner voice that's like, yeah. So then what are you doing? I'm gonna add some um, powder and just like mattify my forehead because it's so shiny. Okay, so I just like mattify my face and it's already looking way better. My makeup has like shifted so much because I took that nap. It looks like it's gonna rain and I think it's because of the humidity. And I also have like so much like makeup to buy. Like I need to get a new concealer. I need to get a new like lip gloss because I use like the same one every day. It's like my signature lip gloss, a brow gel. I have to film TikToks and I think I'm also going to do like a matcha. I think I'm gonna clean up my room. I'm gonna just like set a timer. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set a timer and clean or make it look somewhat clean, right? Because obviously this is, it's gonna rain. And today what I'm gonna do is wear all pink. Um, side note, a dilemma that I've been having guys is the fact that I'm like, what am I going to wear for the Barbie movie? So actually, let me make a quick little list right in front of you guys of like things that I need to do today, okay? Let's be like cute girlies and let's make a list. I'm going to uh, apply to another job. I actually did that last night. What did I freaking say I needed to do? <laughs> Wash whites. What was I just saying that I needed to do? Um, I so thought I was going to be early this week. I am absolutely not early. Um, this is kind of like the latest I've been in a while. You just look, lose track of time, you know? You don't need to sneeze. And also, like, not to mention, there's literally thunder, like, thunderstorms and you're seeing lightning. Um, which is just absolutely crazy. But, um, I'm gonna go to class. And today we're setting the intention of really arching our feet so it can look like the dancers that I see online that like practice and like post their uh you know like at home like follow this routine or whatever or not even then like they just post their um I guess it's their journey I guess it's their daily class where I've said this before but like their feet are so straight that they're like almost it kind of like curves in does that make sense no that doesn't I, I feel like I have to draw it out for you guys because I'm sure like as dancers you probably know but like what do you call this like your feet are so straight that after a while I guess it's because you build muscle on your thighs 
and your calves and they almost like when you straighten your feet your foot starts to go like instead of being like this it's almost like this do you, do you guys know what I, no you guys don't whatever so but in addition to that they also really really like curve like their foot so that's what we're gonna do I thought I would do some foot exercises, but I haven't. But anyway, today's intention is like pulling everything up and also just like really trying to intentionally curve, uh, point my feet. Um, someone said up to the point that it hurts. Um, I'm going to set that intention. I know I'm not going to do that, but, um, but yeah, anyway, so there you go. Set your intention before class and let me know what those are. Inside leg is going to the front, the leg next to the bar. No, no, the leg next to the bar. You start with the leg away from the bar, going back, right, because we're reversing. And now the leg next to the bar is going front. And of course you have to go with this leg to the side, otherwise you need the wall, right? But now, tone bay back, feet bay front. And instead of back side front, the opposite would be front side back. And you turn away from the bar. Step front, side, back. Oh, show me the mm -hmm. Okay, so here. You finished. Instead of tone bay front, coupe bay back, and step back side front. You tone bay back, coupe bay front. And you step front with the left, side with the right, back with the left. Back. And what, what, Whoops, you just went front. front. Yeah, that's what has to go you back. You just put it in front. Yeah, it's got to go back. Okay. Front, side, back. So, so you did tone bay back. back. Oh, dang! Because I had a birthday recently. Oh, I was, how I was cool. in the country club and I was the pie lady and the pastry chef made the cakes and everything else. Uh -huh. I'm going to hop into the shower. I ended ballet class. Like, my face was super... Like, because I started to get, like, sweaty. But around my temples and stuff. So it was, like, super oily. Which is great. But um, it's kind of gone down now. Something about, like, this, like, little outfit is, like, cute for sure. But also just, like humiliating in a cute way like I don't know like it's like wearing a onesie the intention to really point my feet was there was it successful no but also I see like videos in my head videos of people also we did like new combinations so they were kind of throwing me off but in my head um on Instagram and stuff I see like people like teachers like kind of walk you through like specific things that they look like professionals like not professionals but like from very pristine schools you kind of like uh, I look at some of the things that they um, advise people kind of I don't know and basically it's like embedded into my head as far as like things that I know that I need to work on but like that I need to be reminded constantly and it's like being reminded in a new way um like phrasing it in any way i did see this one video of this girl talking about how this dancer and on like instagram talking about i said i was gonna sign off and i keep talking okay 
she kept talking about how like it might look i think she was just i don't know who the who it was honestly she was just doing the same move where she was just like um like doing a tondu or yeah like a tondu or something right and or ronda jean and she just said like it kind of for like outside it might look kind of boring doing like the same move over and over and over but it's taken years to perfect that move and make it look the way that it does um so although it's like mundane um it's just it's repetition that makes you better um and i'm like again i needed to be reminded because i'm like you guys are seeing the same freaking videos every week but at the same time i'm like hopefully now i am better at setting the intention and purposefully trying to implement that into my class now that i'm not i mean obviously i'm not like super duper new either but you know i don't know i mean for them it takes like 12 years for me i'm like however long i've been doing it for and however many less times i've been going to class and stuff whatever i can go on and on and on hopefully you guys had a good video let me know what you guys want to see from me, and I'll talk to you guys later.